Hey guys, this is Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So you've seen my review, my unboxing, my build and everything for the Anides Crystal AI case. Sweet case. And well, you've probably seen my unboxing of the EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 FTW card. Now, how do you get this card in there? Well, obviously you got to install it. you got to remove the previous card. You've got to install the new card. Now, if you've never done it before, don't feel bad. Every single person in the world at one point didn't know how to do it. I'm going to help you guys on how to do it. For those of you that already know, maybe I might give you a pointer. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to try to work with you from the ground up and give you that confidence to install it without feeling, oh my God, I'm going to break the card. You know, because a lot of people charge a lot of money to do this, you know, 100, 200 bucks. For that you've already you've just upgraded your card so upgrade your card but install it on your own save yourself some money and feel good about your system but anyway i'm going to show you how to do this so get over here real quick and let me walk you through it i'm just going to show you real quick how to install the evga geforce gtx 1070 ftw card now mind you we have a card in there already obviously we're going to have to remove it and unless we want to use both, which we can, but in this case, I'm going to remove this card. Uh, I'm going to give this card to my son. But in most cases, the screws would be inside of the case. We would undo the screw here and then pull the card out. In the Anides Crystal AI case, it's a little bit different. First off, we're going to have to unscrew this guy. I'll do that for you real quick now. All right, and now that loosens this up so that we can actually take cards out. So now I'm just going to pull this like that and slide it out quick and easy. Now my screws are out here on the outside, so I'm just going to unscrew the top two. just a little locking me mechanism to keep everything nice and firm there and so nobody plays with the screws all right unscrewed you can see right here it's just these top two screws holding the card in so now you can see if I wiggle the card that goes with it all right so now this has two 8-pin PCIe's. I'm just going to unplug them, push down on here, see how that little clip goes up and down, and just pull out. Easy enough there. Now, you can't just pull the card out if you're going to rip the PCIe slot. There's a little lever right over here, right here. Let me zoom in on that for you. All right, so now you can see a little bit better this little clip right here. So what you need to do is first put one hand over here to hold the card in place. And now push that little clip down. You could use your finger, but kind of hard to get my finger in there right now. And the card just comes right off. Now that you know where the clip is, I'm going to zoom out and show you how to do it again. Just so that you know exactly how to do it. All right, now that I'm zoomed out, I'll do that again. Push that down. And that's it. See how easy that card came out? So now I'm also going to disconnect these guys here, the, the PCIe connections. These are what gives the video card power all right and now take the card out now I'm not gonna toss this card this is gonna go to my son but these gold pins here make sure you don't touch them with your finger or with your fingers the grease on your fingertips will keep the card from making proper contact with the PCIe slot 
you definitely don't want that to happen. And now, here's the, again, the EVGA GTX 1070 FTW card. Now, it comes with a little protector right down here. So make sure you take it off. And just, again, don't touch those pins. And now, simply all we're going to do is, these guys back here, we're going to match them up right over here. See on the left side of the screen how my fingers are popping out of here? That's where these connectors go. And mind you, I still have the caps on there. But just to give you a better example, I'm going to slide this down just for right now, just so that it's out of the way. And turn it back around a little bit. Now, just like we took it out, All right, now we just push in, that's it. You've just installed the card. Now, of course, we need to connect the 8-pin PCIe connections, which on this card, they're facing downwards. On the other card, they're facing upwards, so I just need to turn my cables all around. But aside from that, they're going to connect just the same way. All right, and they're in. Well, at least one's in. Let me go ahead and plug in the other one real quick. All right, now that guy's in. So now we're going to screw the card back in. I'm just gonna zoom out a little tiny bit. All right, now back here, like we did before, we're just gonna to wanna to match up those little holes so that we can screw the card in. And since it does take up two PCIe slots, it takes up two screws as well, just to keep everything nice and tight here. All right. Now again, this part, your case probably won't have, unless you have this specific case. All right, well, actually, it's going to be a little bit more difficult with this case because the card, if you notice, comes out a little kind of far. And then it blocks me from being able to slide this correctly in. I will be able to get it. It'll just take me a little work. But aside from that, I just wanted to show you how to do that. And then, you know, afterwards, we just come back in, make all the cables look nice. And, you know, a little more work, but just to give you an idea. But anyway, now I've just shown you how to install a video card. Now you can do it all on your own. You don't have to bug anybody about it. You don't have to definitely pay anybody to do it. All you got to do is buy the card, and you're set. This is Iggy with Dragon Logger, again, showing you how to install the EVGA GeForce 1070 FTW card. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.